I don't care enough to miss you after all the shit we've been through. My heart's comatose, comatose. <laughs> the flip is up, tubers. I would like to discuss something. Oh, no. 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 It's been on my mind for one day. That song I just sang a second ago is by a TikTok kid. <gasps> and it rocks. Huh? I've been really trying my best to educate myself on the TikTok kids, and I found Jaden, or Jay Exton. And I found out that he did music, and I was like, that's funny. You know, like a TikTok kid doing music must be trash. The first music video I watched, Travis Barker was in it and Machine Gun Kelly and I was like, wait a second. And then the second one that I watched was called Comatose and it rocks. I showed my roommate Christelle and she thought it rocked. We put it on our playlists. It's a great song. Some of the TikTok kids are very talented. My heart's comatose, comatose. It rocks. Watch the music video first. So you can understand, I'm two ciders deep, and I'm feeling it. My heart's going to lose. Also, please let me rant about this product really quick. This sounds like a sponsor, but it's, I swear to God, it's not. I get really bad anxiety at night, and it makes it really hard for me to fall asleep. And I bought this pillow, it was an Instagram ad. And it looks like this. So it's like a pillow like this with two long legs like this. And then you put it around ya. And so say you're in bed, okay. So here's the pillow and you're laying. And then you got two arm-like things and it wraps around you like a hug. It feels like someone is behind me hugging me. <laughs> I seriously feel the bonding chemical get released in my brain. Oxytocin, I feel it. It feels like two arms are wrapped around me and it's so comforting. And I feel so pathetic for getting this, but it really helps me at night. <laughs> when I'm trying to go to sleep or when I'm editing my videos, just watching TV, just having this wrapped around me, it is the comfort and security that I need <laughs> these days. So yeah, I think the brand is called Coziest. And I was really skeptical about getting it because it was an Instagram ad, but I'm like, fuck it, let's try it out. And it, y'all, it changed my life. And I'm only telling you this because it actually did. And this is not even an ad. I'm going to have him wrapped around me while I'm playing Life is Strange because I'm really stressed out. So what happened last time? Well, I was in the hospital. I lost an eye. I have a glass eye now. I didn't know where Daniel was, okay? I woke up from a coma and I'm like, what the fuck? All my friends went to jail, but then they got released. Finn was in the hospital and I didn't even bother to stop and say hi because I was mad at him. And then I just stole a car, ran away, and then I started looking for Daniel in Nevada because apparently he's with Jake in Nevada. So I pull over on the side of the road. Two racist hillbillies come up to my car. They try to rob me. They humiliate me by making me sing a Spanish song. I was afraid for my life. Luckily, they didn't kill me. I tried to drive away, but I ran out of gas, of course. So now I'm walking. A truck driver drives by. I hop in the truck, no questions asked. He drives me to wherever the hell, Haven Point. He drops me off at a church. I walk into the church. It's really, really whack. And I felt extremely uncomfortable being there. Then I realized that this was Jake's church, Jake's family. I remembered what he said at the campfire. And um, I go upstairs to watch the service and what do you know? Daniel is up on the stage being the golden cow and showing everyone at the church his powers from God and that he's an angel from God. The what's her face, the reverend, she was like, see you guys, he's an angel. Like you guys witnessed a miracle. Please give us donations. Don't you believe in God now? Like we're the church that made you guys believe, right? So give us some money. So yeah, they're basically using Daniel for money. It doesn't sit right with me. I'm pissed. I try to convince Daniel to come with me to Puerto Lobos, but he's not down. He has a bull cut. He's a church kid now. Of course he's not down. 
course he doesn't listen to me. He wants to be in this church family now. I almost got shot by the pastor who kicked me out saying that I don't belong here because I'm too sinful and I don't deserve to go to this church because of my last sin. It was like unforgivable. Yet he literally told me when I got there that everyone is welcome no matter who you are. So he's a little bit contradicting. Anyway, he dragged me out by my neck threw me on the ground, punched me in the face. He punched me in my eye, or in my non-existent eye, my glass eye, I guess. Closed the gate on me and threatened to shoot me if I come back. And to make shit weirder, I get a tap on the shoulder and it's Karen, my mom. What the hell? So that's where we left off last time. Let's get into it, shall we? Is Karen gonna help me? Is she gonna be a bitch? Where the hell were you, Karen? And how did you find me? How the hell did you know I was here? Why did it take you 16 years to care about me? What kind of crystal is around your neck? Who are you, mom? I don't know anything about you, mom. I don't care enough to miss you after all the shit I've been through. My heart's color toes. Okay. You know what I mean? Holy shit, it's Karen. We finally meet. She has a crystal around her neck. Holy shit, and she has a mullet. Holy shit. How did she know where I- Holy shit. Sean, what happened to your eye? <gasps> what happened to you? Huh? Why the hell are you here? Yeah. How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. T. You know, Sean, T. sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. even going I already have a hotel room you're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing uh. oh my god whoa I really love this hair on myself I look cute with the haircut it fits me I look older Ooh, I bet that shower feels so nice. Oof. Oh, the bruise. Aw, oh, the underpants. Oh god, I have to talk to Karen now. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Yeah, we needed that shower. Where's Karen? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? Huh. This isn't her tablet. What? One, one, two, seven, oh, eight. Whose tablet is this? Hey, technology. She came prepared. Looks like a Roach Motel. <laughs> nice pool, but dusty as fuck. <laughs> Mark. Oh, Karen wrote a note. What did it say? Be right back. <laughs> we'll find oh my out. God, I thought it said pooped. I thought she was like pooped out. <laughs> it's popped out, obviously. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts. Oh, that's nice. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back. What's in Karen's I bag? know I shouldn't peek, but... She has condoms? Whatever. Who is she fucking? Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. 775-555-0118. Oh my god, what is Jacob gonna say? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! Yeah. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. yeah. 
Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Can we talk about your crazy family, please? And what they put me through? Your dad's insane. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I really up. should finish reading this someday. <sighs> Let's just rest while I wait for her. Hey. Sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Not good. <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Hell yeah. Right? McDonald's? Why not onion? Onion's That'll so do. good. Why do you like onions? Hell yeah, Karen. Thank you. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Thanks. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. Can you chill? Like you, Karen. Yeah. Sean. I do. Since when? <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Mm. Not with me. Mm. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Mm. Where were you? Where were you? Mm. Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Mm. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Good question. We almost didn't. We almost didn't. We just... kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? Your parents You know, did. I don't have to answer your questions, right? Cheers. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why? Ooh. If you care. So, ask me anything. Oh shit. Well? Why did you leave? Alright. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. Oh, come on. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices. Right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. Come on, Karen. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. Oh, come on. But I took that responsibility. You don't care? You dumped us. So you just dumped us so you could be free? Yes. That's exactly what I did. You're just so fucking selfish. What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? Fuck you, Karen. You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... 
Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. Yeah, you did. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. So you regret having us? For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Well, honestly, it's too fucking late. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Yeah. Was that harsh? Was that rude? Maybe I... Well, she is helping me right now. I guess it is nice that she helped me. But where were you all these years? Karen? Wearing your amethyst crystal? Thinking you're woke? Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just... Get it all out in the open. See what happens. Alright, where do we start? Why ghost us? I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. Well... But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Coward. I almost did. You want a clean break. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. I wasn't so lucky. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Um, hurt, or abandoned. No. I felt guilty. I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. Yeah. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, hmm? Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. What did you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. Oof. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Oof. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, Ouch. which is what most of modern life is about, right? Ouch. School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. I mean, I like get where she's coming from, but you didn't realize that after just having one kid? She raised me until I was eight and then had another kid. And she didn't realize that during those eight years? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. Jeez. For now, I've found my place in the world with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. Well, I have to deal with them now. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? Yeah. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. 
You had eight years to figure it out with me. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. Why is she contradicting herself? Your father. He had such a big heart. So, what? He could brighten up a rainy day. Yeah, no he shit, he's the best. Power. He's the best. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. He's- yeah! See how you saw the world. So you I regret it? I sharing these moments with you, Sean. I'm- you're literally contradicting yourself. You're lost, bitch. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. Whatever. I'm getting the weirdest vibes. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. Exactly. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Oh, but you could live with yourself just ghosting us for all these years? I don't get you. I don't get it. Is that weed or a cigarette? And can I have one? Yeah. <laughs> hey, um... Don't smoke. Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. I'm just trying to like, you know, mm. kind of bond with her, I guess. Wow. This sucks. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. Yeah, no shit, lady. I know. Only thing I have left of his. Yeah, but you wouldn't know that, would you, Karen? No, oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die in early death. Yeah. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Cool story, Karen. I would Karen. just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Oh, shit. Yeah. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Okay, Karen. So what's going on? Are we cool? Did I just forget all of those years of trauma that you caused me? We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. I kind of love her Monroe mole. It's cute. Karen's like cute. No wonder I'm so cute. But also, Karen sucks. But I also get Karen. She's a free spirit. But like, Sean, not even a I birthday know I can't card. Change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. I know. It's still hard. I'm being so nice. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. That's it. That's we all we are. It. Okay. That is all this is. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Walkie-talkies. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? No, um, I'll let her help. Yes. I'm Thanks. just so trying to make it less you awkward. You feel like telling me the story here? Not really. But guess when we'll we go had there. Time. 
Gotcha. Is Karen on drugs? Her eyes are like really red. Okay, this is a sweet, intimate moment, I guess. Still mad. She just pokes my eye out. <laughs> Am I crying? Try this or is she crying? What? Oh, it's an eye patch. How do I look? Oh, you look cool. Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. All right. So we're just cool. Karen and I are about to fuck some shit up. Sure he's going to show up. He better. He promised. Hmm. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Yeah. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Yeah. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Cass. Oh, will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? He's a weenie. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be nice. I gotta be nice. He's a cool kid. He's a cool little kid. You know? I just... didn't want him to grow up so fast. Yeah. It's good you were there for him. Thanks. I try. Heads up. What? Is that him? Yep. Oh god. Wait here. What? Sean! What happened? Who the hell is that? That is not Jake. That is not- Why does he look so different? Uh... Can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad. But you better explain everything. That looks- I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I- I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. What? Uh, it's in my car. You stole my cash? You stole my cash? Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea. What he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, I, I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. Oh my god. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. Yeah, no She's shit. good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. I want to say both things. I'm not afraid of her. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on. There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. Ooh. We're not going to ask for their permission. Yes, Karen. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Mm-hmm. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch, in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. The 
Walter. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister to Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Yeah, the bread. Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Okay, Jake. Okay. I'm listening. Elizabeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Oh Fine. my god. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Do you? Okay, so we're just gonna kidnap two kids. I also want to know why Jake dropped Daniel off at the church. Because if Daniel went with Jacob, how did Daniel end up there if Jake doesn't talk to them anymore? Am I dumb? Or did I miss that? These Christians are gonna kill me. Oh my god, I'm scared. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Yeah, I need a hug. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Oh no, I'm walking. Yeah, of course. Ah, shit. Let's get this over with. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. Here we go again. This house is right behind the church. <laughs> so, in and out. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. And you sure Lizbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Where? Oh, shit. Where? How many? <gasps> Just three. A man with his kid on one side. And a woman alone on the other. Where? Oh, thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Okay, where are the... Where are the... Oh, shit, they're right there. Fuck, fuck. What do we do? Are you following me, or what's the vibe? Are we just standing here? What's going on? Karen. Everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. My camera angles? You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. That was kind of dope. Okay, find a way to enter her house. Are you following me, bro? Okay. Am I following you? Who's the leader here? Who's that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Are we just going up to her? She can- Oh! Come on. Hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just- You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service- We weren't done yet. Uh, sorry, we're, uh, we're in a rush. Back door. Oh, come <sighs> on. Locked, of course. Jake, what do we do? Bruh. Oh, so you're just gonna wait around for me, of course. Of course you are. Oh, fuck. There's people right there. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. No one's in sight. <sighs> Good. Okay. I believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Okay. I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. <laughs> Where are the files? Let's haul ass. Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Of course. Her open door speech is just another lie. 
gotta find a way in. Fuck. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Yeah, there's definitely one. Um, in the cushion. <sighs> whoa. Like Are you whoa, okay, Jake? Whoa. Yeah. Like a roller coaster ride. Every inch of me is like whoa, whoa. Okay, where's this damn key at? Jake, you gotta help me here, brother. You have to help me, brother. Yeah. Damn. This is so artless. How could you be so artless? <laughs> How could you be so dark to evil? You're bringing out a side of me that I don't know. I'm sad to when that she grown. But we on 3 a.m. on the phone. How could you be so mad at me, though? Homie, I don't know. She hot and cold. <laughs> Where's this damn key? I'm sick of it. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Huh? Now they're thirsty. <laughs> Don't see anything of interest. She smokes ciggies. Can we smoke a ciggy? Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. I'm sorry? Jacob, thank you so much for telling I'm on my way to Haven. Oh, fuck. So Reverend Mother has Karen's letter now. Yes, brother. God bless. Okay. I found a key. Let's Good. go. Let's try it. Is everything all right in there? Jesus. <sighs> yes. We're trying to get him to her office. Ew, he looks so She's scary. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. All right. Let's open this door. Please work. Please work. Yes. Yep. That's the one. Oh, perfect. How could you be Whoa. so, Dr. Evo? Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. Daniel. She has pneumonia? Damn, Daniel. And for what I get... Elizabeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like, sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... He's gay. Wanted to cure you from... Oh my god. Being... Oh my god. Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. Oh my gosh. A sinner. So you ran away? Is that why you... Oh my god. Ran away? Yep. It took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Holy shit. What sins? What sins? Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. <gasps> Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Oh my god. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I 
I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Oh. Instead, I, I just heard him. You didn't know. You didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. Hey, maybe he so. is the second and coming of I'll Christ. get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. <sighs> Keep my money. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I... I can't do that, Sean. Yes, you that, can. That, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. So... Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Um, 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 okay. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. What do you mean? Now. Covered. <laughs> Hurry oh, up. shit. Okay, sorry. Sean, we need to hide. I'm hiding. Relax. Man, if he finds us here, you we're shut screwed. Up. Shut up. Shut up. Dude, hide. Come on, bro. Bro. Are you stupid? Where, where did, where did he go? Oh my god. Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. Oh, fuck me. And if I find you... Mm. going on Sean huh do you think it's gotta <gasps> be Karen oh, he's gone let's get out of here um fuck me where do we go Man, where do we go crazy I really thought he was gonna catch us the guy's leaving looks like my diversion worked out <gasps> yeah okay, nice job go. What if he's right outside? Oh no. That was so close. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Uh, yeah. No way. I guess she is. I'm sorry. Karen just thought it would be a good idea to start a fire. That's a little much, bitch. That's a little much. Now, I'll go get Sarah Lee. While you get Daniel. Oh my then god. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? Did she just- Alright. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Why? I cannot believe she just blew a house up. What in, is Karen. that? See anything? That's insane. No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. That was a little extreme, Karen. I mean, her name is Karen, so what do I expect? Fuck Locked, me. Of course. I don't know how to enter. How do I enter? So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. <laughs> no plan whatsoever. Oh lord. 
Let your power speak through this young vessel. <laughs> What I am your fuck? humble Sorry. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. That I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. No, bitch. And you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy oh, on up. your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary. Right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel. You've known her for Listen, a week. She's not your family. Sean? Who is she? Our mother. Uh, she came here. Yeah. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Fuck off. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Reverend. I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling yes. him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. Yeah. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Here Where? We go. Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. Mm -hmm. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast Him out into the world. She didn't know. Who the hell are you? Period. He might have been His mother once. But when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? Ooh. You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? Oh, shit. You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Shut Daniel. up, ho. Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Come on, Daniel. Daniel. You're a dumbass, but be smart for a second. For what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. Mm-hmm. Let's go, I'm Karen. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. <laughs> I know that's not enough. I hope we can talk about this Please, together. Daniel, Daniel look me That's in what the eyes. That's what I've been eyes. trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. Daniel, look at me. You gotta trust us. Daniel. She's using you for her selfish desires. Yep. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Daniel. Are you going to believe her or me? I, Daniel. Uh, I. That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. Can you fuck and we'll right off? Never leave him. Fuck. Go to right hell. off. Come on, Daniel. No. <gasps> oh my shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas. They're heretics, sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him. Sean. Oh my god. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn. Daniel? Sean, your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? 
She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Mm-hmm. Daniel knows who to trust. He's nine. Um, 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 um. She went to the doctor? I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Mm-hmm. Reverend Mother? Mm-hmm. Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. You don't. God is speaking to me. Shut your and asshole. to you. Shut your ass. Shut your ass. Um... Kicked out of church? She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah. They knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Yeah. Liar. I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. You're demon possessed. The letter from Karen. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know she's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. Let's go, Daniel. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back hey. Off. No one. It's gonna keep me away from you. Don't touch I me. I said, stop! Do not touch me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, get up. I came all this way for you. Nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need. Sean! He must learn. In the glass eye? Really? You bitch. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Bruh. Oh, don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> don't let them do Hold that, Daniel. <sighs> Daniel, come on, bro. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what they're doing to me? Daniel, you dummy. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza. My face. And snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet. What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. <gasps> no, 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 no. What are you going to kill him? Please. He's my brother. You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Get up, you're strong, you're Nothing strong. It's gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Yes. Dad always said, our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him uh, alone! Daniel, oh. listen oh. to him. Daniel, what is going to convince? What can I do? You, your father is beating me up. Stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back, again, and again. <laughs> Daniel, come on, bro. I, you, Daniel. I do too. <laughs> Shut him up now. No, 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 no. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. Mm. I'm not afraid. Do it. Shoot. Don't. Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. No! Stop! Daniel! Sean! I'm 
sorry. Sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Yeah, you take that gun, bitch. You take that gun, bitch. Oh, no. You take that no. gun, bitch. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. <gasps> Sean. Wait. Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's bad. What am I gonna do? 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 Fuck Lisbeth! Fuck that hoe! Fuck that hoe! Fuck that hoe! Period! <laughs> that was funny. <gasps> she's just. You just. She's dead. Okay, I didn't mean to kill her. It was her or us. Open the door, Dan. Let's go. Oh, maybe... Listen, I thought she, he was just gonna, like, throw her against the wall, then we could run out. I didn't know we were gonna kill her. Shit. But, like, oh my god, she was the worst. Listen. Listen. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Now we're gonna be in even more trouble. Cause we just killed the bitch. I wasn't thinking about that. I was being impulsive. I hope that that doesn't affect Daniel in the future. Damn it. Oh my god, damn it. decision i mean fuck that hoe i have to pee so bad all right let's see how we did <laughs> i'm nervous you failed both vision tests 10 percent. nice cool you told agent flores the robbery was finn's idea 75 percent. yeah because it was you escaped the hospital without hurting anyone 57 that's what's up. You didn't talk to Finn, 41%. Why would I? Why would I? You didn't try to take the toy back and didn't break it. Why would I even try to do that? 
You sang the song in Spanish. I did. I did sing the song in Spanish. Oh my god, if I didn't sing the song in Spanish, I would have gotten beat up. Period. I mean, obviously. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I was like, yes, I would have gotten beat up. But I mean, like, you know, that was humiliating. And I hate those guys for doing that to me. But at least I didn't get beat up even more. You know? God. Fuck those guys. You got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point. Why would I not get into Anton's truck? You didn't give money to the church. Why would I do that? <laughs> Overall, you try to let Karen open up to you. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna hear her out. I'm meeting my mom for the first time. I want to know why she abandoned me and gave me so much trauma as a kid and just so many issues. Um, you smoked a cigarette with Karen. I did do that. You accepted Karen's help to clean up your wound. Why would I not do that? I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm getting all the higher percentages. Oh, except this one. You got Nicholas suspicious when sneaking into Haven Point. Um, you shared your money with Jacob, 54%, of course. Um, you managed to hide from Nicholas, 68%. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know y'all are pissed. Y'all aren't pissed. Y'all are just disappointed in me. Listen, I'm not violent. I really am not violent. I'm playing a video game. But right after I let Daniel unleash his power, I realized that's going to hurt him in the long run. That's the only decision that I regret. But hey, at least I'm not the 9% that shot Lisbeth while Daniel was hurting her. At least I wasn't in the 3%, you know? You shot Lisbeth while Daniel wasn't hurting her, you know what I you know what I mean? At least I wasn't those people. <laughs> you know? That makes me feel a little bit better. But shit. Oh my god, I'm going to get bad karma for that. Oh, shit. Can I go back? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Thanks for watching, Silly Billies. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, there's only five episodes in the game. Next week, I'm gonna post part one of the finale, and then I'm gonna post part two of the finale later. I'm trying to decide that or make it one long video. I don't know yet. We'll feel it out. But um, get ready for that. It's gonna be crazy. I love you guys, and see you soon.